is Alan Malky. I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon. I practice cardiothoracic surgery at St. Bernardine Medical Center. In my 25 years of practice, I've performed over 5,000 open heart procedures. Out of all the rotations that I did as a medical student and later on as a surgical resident, I was most excited by the prospect of being able to fix the functioning of the heart as well as the anatomy of the heart. It is just as fascinating to me today as it was when I first saw it. Predominantly, we perform open heart procedures on adults, which consists of coronary bypass surgery and valve surgeries, which include repairs of valves and also replacement of valves. The most common type of valve procedure we perform is a valve replacement on the aortic valve for aortic stenosis or narrowing. TEVAR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Transcatheter refers to the approach. In other words, this is not done in the conventionally open procedure. The sternum does not have to be opened. It's usually done through the femoral artery, through the groin. The catheter is inserted into the artery with a needle, and then the wire is advanced through the valve, and then the device is passed over that wire through the valve itself after all the calculations have been made and the positioning uh, of the valve is determined. The advantage of a TAVR procedure is to provide for the patient a valve replacement without being exposed to a very significant operation as it was conventionally done. The approval process started off by allowing the procedure to be performed on patients who are inoperable. They were elderly, they had many other medical problems, they had poor heart function, and these patients would not have tolerated an operation without a high risk of death. There are several studies that are ongoing. Most of them uh, relate to patient selection. They're trying to expand the indications for TAVR to a larger groups of patients that are perhaps not as high a risk as the initial group. TAVR is very important for St. Bernardine because it allows us to provide a service that is much needed for a very large segment of the populations. I see patients every day who are not referred for surgery because their physicians thought that they would be too high a risk to undergo surgery. This expands the pool of patients that can be treated and may provide the patients for a better quality of life. My advice for any patient considering a TAVR procedure uh, would be to do their individual research, to consider all the options that are being exposed uh, to you, but ultimately you're going to be putting yourself in the hands of people who are professional, who are capable, who have studied this to the ultimate degree, and have advanced understanding as well as what it will take to perform the procedure carefully and safely.